Here it is guys, our Series 5 2020 Patrol. These are hugely popular, both here in Australia and also in the Middle East. The biggest market for the Y62 is the Middle East region. We picked up the car with only 250 Ks and got it straight onto the dyno to see the baseline numbers. So while the Series 5 has got the facelift, the powertrain carries over from the earlier models. It's the VK56 VD, and they rated it at 400 horsepower at the crank. As soon as we got the car, we've put it on the dyno. At the hubs at the rear, we're seeing 350 horsepower and 368 foot-pounds of torque. So comparable to what we've seen with earlier model cars as a baseline. Before we install the Harrop Supercharger, we wanted to give the car a visual upgrade. So we worked with our friends at iCandy They've done a complete chrome delete, so all the chrome trim on the outside is black, and the interior wood grain, which isn't particularly popular, has got a brushed aluminium finish. Looks much better. For bigger weight towing, we've installed a Red Arc Tow Pro Elite brake controller. The wheels and tyres, we've got Method 18x9s, we've done a custom black outer ring, and Toyo Tyres RT Open Country. So they sit somewhere between an all-terrain and a mud terrain. They're a fairly aggressive tyre. They look fantastic on this car. Let's face it, we haven't built this to be an off-road tourer. It's a fast SUV that's got luxury. Looking at our supercharger options, we've always offered the TVS 2300 and the TVS 2650. The TVS 2300 has been very popular and it's perfectly suited to a stock 5.6 just like this. Our Middle East customers love the 2650, so we're using that on this build to showcase what's possible. More air and fuel produces more power, and the 2650 high displacement supercharger feeds the V8 with ease at modest boost levels. This is still running a stock exhaust. We have swapped out the middle muffler to give it more noise, but otherwise the rear muffler, headers and cats is all still factory. It runs a 90mm top pulley, so we've slowed the 2650 down slightly, and we're seeing peak boost at 8.5 to 9 psi, similar to what we would see with the 2300 with a smaller pulley. Now at these power levels, the factory DI system is running out of fuel. We have an XDI fuel pump upgrade that's exclusively available to Harrop. And this vehicle and any vehicle running the 2650, certainly in Australia, needs that upgrade. To see all the details on the design, the development and the manufacturing on both systems for the VK56, check out our tech review video on Harrop TV. Now that we've got the supercharger installed with the fuel pump upgrade, let's get it back onto the dyno and see what's possible, recalibrating the factory ECU with HP tuners. There's a number of different options on the market for tuning these cars, but we always opt for recalibrating the standard ECU so we have more control over the engine parameters. Importantly, torque management and the factory transmission. Let's look at the graph and see the numbers. Peak power is the number that everyone likes to get excited about, and we've gone from 350 to 482 horsepower. So certainly an impressive gain. Boost, we're seeing peak between eight and a half and nine PSI, which is where we expect it to be. The fueling is consistent, which is great, but the big story is always the torque with a positive displacement supercharger. Right through the mid-range, the torque increase is massive, and that's what you feel when you're driving these cars. Dyno numbers are great, but how does that translate as a comparison on the road? So we've just seen the numbers on the dyno from the Y62 with the supercharger. We've got Luke from AIC. They're a development partner for Harrop Auto Innovation Centre. They've got great facility, great vehicles, and a great collection of services. We're at Sandown, closed circuit, and we're gonna put them through our paces. Yeah, thanks Heath. So the Auto Innovation Centre, or AIC uh, as we call it, 
Um, we've got a fleet of vehicles predominantly designed to help companies uh, like Harrop develop products. So we have a number of services, 3D scanning, you know, we have a, a premium workshop, 3D printing capabilities. But in this case, uh, we've got a fleet of vehicles that are available for hire for use for testing and product development. We've been talking for quite a while. It's a pretty diverse collection of vehicles and we thought we need to line them up one day when there's some testing and what better day at Sandown. Weather's fantastic. So we've got the performance box and we've got everything from the Harrop Jimny through to the Supercharged Patrol. Matt from Horsepower Factory, HPF, he's bought his standard patrol but it's got 35. So like the Harrop, it's got method 18 by 9s with a 35 inch tyre, so that's going to pull the performance back a little bit on the road. AIC's got, what, the Silverado 2500 Duramax 6.6, yep. Land Cruiser 200 series, unmodified, turbo diesel V8, and a couple of sports cars. Yeah, so we've all our cars are stocked, that's, I guess that's the biggest thing, is we're completely stocked cars, so we don't have 35s. Um, so given the 200 series the best fighting chance. Let's line them up and see what they run. Starting with the Jimny, with its 1.5 litre four-cylinder engine, putting out a massive 100 horsepower and 96 foot-pounds through its four-speed auto, and the tyres are upgraded to Toyo Open Country AT2s in a 235-75-15s. And we've run 15.6 seconds, 0 to 100. Next down the straight is the LC200, with its four and a half litre turbo diesel, rated at 270 horsepower, and 480 foot-pounds driving through a six-speed auto, it's run 10.3 seconds to 100. Now for the big rig, the Silverado 2500. It's a Duramax 6.6 litre turbo diesel through an Allison transmission. It's rated at 445 horsepower and a stonking 910 foot-pounds of torque. It gets to 100 in 7.7 .7 seconds. Matt's Y62 being stock, 400 horsepower and 413 foot-pounds. And on 35s with a 2 inch lift, it does the dash in 8 seconds flat. Now for our supercharged series 5. We estimate the crank output to be around 560 horsepower and 560 foot pounds of torque. On 35 inch tyres, it gets to 100 in 6.6 .6 seconds. Onto the coupes with the Mustang with its 5 litre Coyote V8 6 speed manual. They make 460 horsepower and 420 foot-pounds of torque, and it runs the time of 5.6 seconds. And top spot is naturally taken by the Supra, with its BMW supplied three litre turbo, rated at 335 horsepower and 368 foot-pounds of torque through the eight-speed ZF Auto. It's run 4.5 seconds to 100. So Luke, we've run the cars. What do you think of the results? A few surprises in there. Um, you know, some are quicker than we thought. Some are probably not as quick as the manufacturer states, but that's probably not a surprise. Real world. So, yeah. Supra, good BMW. It's a great BMW. Definitely the fastest. Always was going to be. We bought the Jimny because we thought it'd be a bit of a <laughs> laugh. Everyone in the off-road community likes to put a bigger tyre on, which we've done. The supercharge is not on the Jimny, so it's still aspirated and um, slow as. It's still going, I think. <laughs> But the patrol performed excellent. Matt from HPF with his, it was great that they both had the big tyre because that's a common upgrade on these. With, uh, with no lift, it takes a 35 inch tyre. And the supercharger definitely gave it that boost. Oh yeah, it was easy to see. The Land Cruiser had a little bit of an advantage with its stock size wheels, but um, it didn't really make a difference at the end of the day. Anyway, let's line up the Land Cruiser and the two patrols and see how it looks uh, side by side. <laughs> have it guys, Supercharged Patrol convincingly wins our SUV drag race. Learn more about supercharging your rig at harrop.com.au and be sure to subscribe to Harrop TV and hit the bell to get all of our content as released.